Another minute. Yeah. Right guys, Dad's just arrived. I couldn't get this fight for you because it was raining and the camera won't do in the rain. But I've got it in the net, I'm gonna get it out. It's a decent fish and I've only been here about two hours. So, here we go. Got it? Yeah, I'm zooming in James. Oh wow. A bit lively. Very nice. You got him? Yeah. Just coming in. What do you think of that? That is smashing, James. Wow. <laughs> that's good. Wow. Should we weigh him? I'd say that's 10, definitely. Oh, it's more than 10. That's very, very nice, James. Well done. Thirteen point nine seven in the bag. Mm -hmm. So it's thirteen nine seven in the bag. Yeah. The bag weighs. Mm -hmm. Two eight eight. Ooh, fourteen. That's 11 pounds, well done James. Ooh. I thought it was bigger to be fair. <laughs> Keep it calling quiet. everyone up saying it's bigger, but let's get a proper look at him. Yeah, let's get him back. Look. What a carp this is. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look man. at that. Just let me get a zoom in. This is Dad doing some technically stuff <laughs> now. Technical difficult. Right. Just going in there James, getting the, the big shot. That is a stonking fish. It is, isn't it? Should we do the other side? Just a second now. Let's give him the other side when you come round. Great. That's a great. Oh, that looks heavier than it. That doesn't keep like I might have to reweigh that, you know. <laughs> Fishing it up. <laughs> spot on. Look at the colours in that tail. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful, James. Oh, that's a lovely fish. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Good? Right? Yep, well done. I'm just going right in on him now, yeah, it's beautiful. Hold on. 10 out of 10, that, James. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. What a mouth, what a mouth, I mean. Should we get some pictures? Yeah. Run back. Onto the reeds. Okay, guys, this is the rig that's been, well, got me the fish. Uh, only been out for about an hour. It start off on a on a lead clip, so if anything ever happens, that lead can just pop off the bottom of there and fall off if it ever gets snagged or anything like that. I've got them a really short hook link from the lead to the bait. Now the purpose of that is I don't want the carp picking it up, spin it out and moving on. I want it picking it up and getting straight in contact with that lead and hooking itself. Now, from there, I've got a big bit of putty at the top and a small bit at the bottom. And the whole idea is that when, is when I cast it out, the big bit of putty is gonna sink first and the small bit of putty will sink last. So it almost kicks the rig away from my lead so it's presented nice. And then after that, on the, rig, on the hook end, I've got a critically balanced boilie. Now I've got the boilie below it, and then above it, I've got a pop-up bit of sweet corn. Now, that will sit like that on the bottom, and it won't move. Now, if a carp picks it up and spits it back out, because the way the rig's designed, that will always pop above the hook. So even if a carp, carp picks it up, spits it out, this will always reset itself and be ready for the next fish that comes along. So I'm gonna put a bit more juice on that, throw it out and see if we can get another one. And we still got 30 hours left. There we go.
Hey there guys, uh, welcome to Fishing It Up. Um, this is our second session at this place, Field Farm Fisheries. We came a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, we did a 24 or well, 36 hour session then and we had absolutely nothing. Uh, Dad, you managed to get one in the middle of the night, didn't you? Yep, came off. I'd had it on for about 10 seconds and it came off um, about three o'clock in the morning. Uh, all hell broke loose. <laughs> And then basically, yeah, nothing all night, was it, after that? Such as yeah. fishing. Uh, actually, I think it was four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock, okay. <laughs> But uh, we refuse to be beaten by this place, so I've come back again. I'm actually doing a 36-hour session here today. Dad's just come after work. I'm on um, my way home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was fighting the carp and he called me. I was like, Dad, get here, get here. I've just caught a carp, which you saw at the start. Um, so it's a good start. A good start. A good start, yeah. Still wouldn't say we've cracked it, but... Uh, You've got to get off now, haven't you? I've got to get off. I've just been fishing in the margins here and I've just lost one. Um, swing tipping and vump, the end went like mad, didn't it, James? Oh, it did, it struck. Yeah. Uh, nothing on the end, unfortunately. I don't know whether I was a bit too early or whether it was just, um, you know, whether I struck side on instead of upwards and it may have pulled the bait out of its mouth. But whichever, it's looking good for James for tonight and hopefully we'll get some decent yeah. decent footage for you for the morning spot. Would have been nice for you to get one, but yeah, it's how fishing goes. Nice. But yeah, uh, yeah. still got plenty of time left. Hopefully we'll get some more shots. Um, again, just apologies for not being able to show you the battle before, but it was raining, the camera can't get wet, there was a million things going on at once. And I was in a traffic jam. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, <laughs> get it, Dad, get it. <laughs> but uh, I think we've done enough talking now, should yep. we go on with the fishing? Yep. But good, luck. good to see you again now. All right, and see you soon. Up, and hopefully on. see you guys later on. All right, here Cheers. we go. Okay. Right guys, it's uh, it's getting quite late now. Um, I've put all the rods in, my dad's left. Uh, I've put all three kind of on the bite alarms now. Just gonna wait to see what happens during the night. From the little bit of bait out, I'm trying not to put too much in, just a handful over each rod. Um, last time we put a bit of bait in and it didn't really work out, so this time we're going on a lighter approach and just seeing if that works. But I'm gonna put the camera away, get in bed, and hold my Home hands up, fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get one in the night, hopefully in the morning. You never know, that's the best thing about fishing. Good night, next time you see me, hope I've got a fish in my hand. Well guys, I'm in again. <laughs> it's really late now, the rob's just ripped off. I'm trying to get this so you can see it. It's come quite close in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to net it, show you what we've got. In two minutes, I'll be right back. Can you hear that reel? Oh, it's the sound we like. Well, guys, here he is, the culprit. Little common. There he is. It's getting late now. I didn't think I'd have one before bed. <laughs> but, refocus. It's not the biggest, it's not as big as one before, but it's all good fun, it's good sport. And definitely considering the look we had here last time where we had nothing, to come here and in the first couple of hours, I think we're in here six hours now, not a couple but the first six to have two out it's just filling me a bit more confidence and uh i'm really excited to get the rods back out and see what happens but it might be a bit too dark to cast out now i'll try my best anyway let's get them back get the rods back in let's drive one more <laughs> here we go Well, 
nothing which is really happening at the moment. Um, since this morning, it's just it's just completely gone dead. Uh, the rig I got out for catfish, nothing's happened. I popped up boilies. Um, nothing's happening with them anymore. So I've decided to take one of the rods out, leave one boilie rod out, pull the other one in. I'm going to change to a method feeder. Now, this one, I always use this when things are going slow or not working or trying something new. I don't know why I like it so much. I think it's just kind of a very simple idea, simple rig, and it does seem to do the business when it all else fails. So I'm going to get this one in, see if I can get a, a carp out. It's coming to mid-afternoon now, it's not the best time. So I think just changing tactics, trying something new, might not work, but it gives me that extra advantage and hopefully I'll be able to get something out. So just to show you, it's basically a little ball like that and inside the middle of there, I'll have my boilie. And what the carp will do, they'll eat around it and when they see the middle, there'll be a bright pink boilie in the middle and they'll be attracted to that, they'll take it, my quiver tip will just bring round, strike into it and hopefully I'll have a fish. That's the theory, let's get out and give it a go. I'm in again. Just switch tactic. Gone to the quiver tip on the method feeder and it's worked perfectly. It's been in about 40 minutes and the rod's flung round into a little mirror carp, nothing sizable, but it's another carp on the on the, sh on the bank. Hopefully, we need to get it in. Sorry about the angle guys, but I have my hands busy. Let's get him on the bank, see what he looks like, and get the rods back out. Well, there he is, little mirror. I think that's the third fish now. He seems to be getting smaller every fish I get. <laughs> but uh, it's really slowed down this afternoon, so it's good to get another one out, and that changes tactic has worked perfectly. So I'm gonna get him back in, try that method one more time, and hopefully when it gets to the middle of the day, go back to my pop-up rigs, um, go back to the boilies, and try and find a bigger one just before I get to leave. But for now, good times, let's get him back. Well, the reason I haven't been doing much filming is because the afternoon has been completely dead. I think the reason for that is the weather. It's just got incredibly hot. In fact, it's just now become overcast. It's just got a bit cooler. Uh, I could, it was just this moment now I could be bothered getting the camera. Apart from that, the rest of the day I have been absolutely roasting. Nothing's been happening. It's been really muggy. It's just been almost unbearable. I'm gonna stick it out for a couple more hours now, see if I can get anything out. I'm not holding my breath though. Um, it's definitely a different day to day than it was yesterday. But I'm just going to change the catfish rig to uh, a bit of dead bait. See if that does me any better. Continue the quiver tip fishing and also got a boilie on the snowman rig as well. So that's the setup for the last couple of hours. It's going to start raining later as well, so I want to get off before it tips it down. So hopefully, you'll see me again with rod in my hands and the fish on the end of it.
If not though, sorry for the heck out longer guys, but it is far, far too hot. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Imagine the rod that's right there. Well guys, all done now for the, uh, the 36 hour session. Um, it started off really well. I thought we were gonna get loads of footage but that car up straight away when we got here. But unfortunately after that, the car park's catching. It did get small and today it's just been so incredibly hot. I mean, I know I'm wearing all this now but I'm only wearing it because I'm so sunburned. <laughs> I can't afford to get any more sun on my skin. So it has slowed down. Today's not been the best to be honest. Yesterday was the best day. Um, Still enjoyed it though, absolutely knackered now. Sorry for such a short video, but today it's been too hot to even film. I've just sat there and done absolutely nothing. I just haven't had the energy. So thanks for watching. Uh, this will be the start, hopefully with a few more cart videos to come. But for now, I'm done, I'm off to bed. Get some tea inside me and not think about fishing for another week. Get my energy back. Thanks for watching.